Hello, boys and girls. Let's listen to Nudic the Wolf Pup by Jean Craighead George, illustrated by Ted Rand. In an Eskimo village at the top of the world lived a lively little boy. He was not very old, but he could run as fast as a bird's shadow. When he ran, his father, Kapugan, the great hunter, caught him and lifted him high over his head. When he ran, his mother, Ellen, caught him and hugged him closely. When he ran, his big sister, Julie, caught him and carried him home to tell him wolf stories. She told him how a wolf pack had saved her life when she was lost and starving on a vast tundra. The wolf pack's noble black leader had shared his family's food with her. The wolf's name was Amarok. The little boy's name was Amarok. Pause for a moment and think about what the word noble means. Okay, let's continue. One day, Julie came home with two pups. They were hungry and sickly. She put one in Amarok's arms. Feed and tend this pup, she said. His name is Nudik. I will feed and tend the other pup. I named her Mukak. When they are fat and well, the wolves will come and get them. Amarok hugged his pup. He felt the little wolf heart beat softly. He kissed the warm head. Amarok, Julie said when she saw this, do not come to love this wolf pup. I have promised the wolves we will return the pups when they are fat and well. Amarok looked into Nudik's golden eyes. The wolf pup licked him and wagged his tail. Julie frowned. Don't fall in love, Amarok, she warned again or your heart will break when the wolves come and take him away. No, it won't, he said. Think about what the word promised means. Okay. Julie gave Amarok a bottle of milk to feed his pup. Amarok wrapped Nudik in soft rabbit skins, and they snuggled down on the grizzly bear rug. Every day, Amarok fed Nudik many bottles of milk, bites of raw meat, and bones to chew. When the moon had changed from a crescent to a circle and back again, Nudik was fat. His legs did not wobble. His fur gleamed. He bounced and woofed. When Amarok ran, Nudik ran. Pause and think about what the word gleamed means. All right, let's continue. Summer came to the top of the world. The sun stayed up all day and all night for three beautiful months. Because of this, Amarok and Nudik lived by a different clock. They fell asleep to the gabble of baby snow geese. They awoke to the raspy hiss of snowy owlets. They ate when they were hungry. They slept when they were tired and they played wolf games in shadow and sun. They were never apart. Don't fall in love with Nudik, Julie warned again when the midnight sun was riding low. I hear the wolves calling. Soon they will come for their pups. She looked at him. Be strong. I am strong, he answered. I am Amarok. One morning, Amarok and Nudik were tumbling on the mossy tundra when the wolf pack called. They were close by. Come home, come home, they howled. Nudik heard them. Ukak and Julie heard them. Amarok heard them. He got to his feet and ran. Nudik stopped listening to the wolves and ran after him. Amarok led Nudik as fast as a falling star. He led him down a frost heave. He led him around the village schoolhouse. He led him far from the wolves. 
After a long time he led Nudik home. Julie was at the door. Ukak has returned to her family, she said. The wolves came and got her. Nudik is next. I am very tired, Amarok said, and he rubbed his eyes. Julie put him to bed in his bearskin sleeping bag. When Julie tiptoed away, Nudik wiggled into the sleeping bag, too. He licked Amarok's cheek. Think about what the word wiggled means. Okay, let's move on. The sun set in August. The days grew shorter until there was no day at all. Now it was always night time. In the blue grayness of the winter night, the wolves came to the edge of the village. When everyone was sleeping, they called to Nudik. Nudik crawled out of Amarok's sleeping bag and gently awakened him. He took his hand in his mouth and led him across the room. He stopped before Amarok's parka. Amarok put it on. Nudik picked up a boot. Amarok put on his boots. Nudik whimpered at the door. Amarok opened it. They stepped into the cold. The wolves were prancing and dancing like ice spirits on the hill. Nudik took Amarok's mittened hand and led him toward his wolf family. The frost crackled under their feet. The wolves whispered their welcome. Suddenly, Amarok stopped. Nudik was taking him to his wolf home. No, Nudik, he said, I cannot go with you. I cannot live with your family. Nudik tilted his head to one side and whimpered, Come. You must go home alone, Amarok said, and hugged his beloved wolf pup for a long time. Pause and think about what the word beloved means. All right, let's go on. Then he turned and walked away. He did not run. Nudik did not chase him. I am very strong, Amarok said to himself. He got home before his tears froze. Amarok crawled into his bearskin sleeping bag and sobbed. His heart was broken after all. At last he fell asleep. Julie awoke him for breakfast. I don't want to eat, he told her. Last night the wolves came and took Nudik away. You are a strong boy, she said. You let him go back to his family. That is right. Amarok did not eat lunch. When Kapugin took him out to fish, he did not fish. Tears kept welling up. He ran home to hide them in his bearskin sleeping bag. It was surprisingly warm. Up from the bottom and into Amarok's arms wiggled the furry wolf pup. Nudik! Amarok cried joyfully. He hugged his friend and glanced at Julie. Instead of scolding him, she stepped outside. Think for a moment about what the word glanced means. Okay, let's move on. Dear wolves, she called across the tundra, your beautiful pup Nudik will not be coming back to you. He has joined our family. Amarok loves Nudik. Nudik loves Amarok. They are brothers now. He cannot leave. As if listening, the wind stopped blowing. In the stillness, Julie called out clearly and softly. I shall take care of him as lovingly as you took care of me. And the wolves sang back, That is good. Meet the author and illustrator. Jean Craighead George has written more than 100 children's books. One summer, Jean went to Alaska to learn more about wolves. There she saw a little girl walking on the lonely tundra. She also saw a beautiful male wolf. They became the characters for Jean's book, 
Julie of the Wolves for older readers. Nudic the Wolf Pup is a follow-up to that book. To draw the illustrations for Nudic the Wolf Pup, Ted Rand went to Alaska. He wanted to see the tundra for himself. Ted has illustrated more than 60 children's books.